Hey collectors! Welcome back to my channel, Duncan the Collector. For today's review, we'll be taking a look at two new awesome packs. Today we'll be taking a look at the Release and Rampage pack and the Owen Escape pack. These are two amazing sets. They both had the same Jurassic World Dominion box art as always. Both sets introduce a new species, a Trociraptor. I absolutely cannot wait to unbox these sets, so let's not waste any more time. Let's start with the Release and Rampage pack. Already, I can tell this is an awesome set. First, let's look at the most exciting part of the set, our new species, a Trociraptor Ghost. She looks fantastic. She has some awesome details with lots of scales, bumps, wrinkles, and scoots. I especially love her iconic squared head. She also has these really cool speckles in her body. It really adds to the realism of the figure in my opinion. Ghost has the same articulation you'd expect in a raptor, with her arms rotating, but I wish they were on a ball joint. Her legs can also rotate, but one thing I notice with my figure is her left leg is warped, making her look a bit odd as her foot doesn't properly touch the ground. Ghost's jaw can also open, and her neck is on a ball joint giving a great range of movement. For some reason, her tail can also swivel. On Ghost's back, there's a little pull tab that if you pull, reveals the scan code for the Jurassic Facts app. And there it is if you'd like it. Overall, this is an awesome figure, and I can't wait to get the complete pack from the movie. Now, let's look at this awesome cage. It looks fantastic and has lots of details, like handles, buttons, bolts, and lots of metal framing. I absolutely love the blue color with the silver scratch marks. It looks great. What's also really cool about this holding cage is the fact that it has an opening door that's also detachable. Now that we have it open, we can put Ghost in. And there she goes. Unfortunately, Unless you put her in backwards, there's a very large hole in the back of it, which it seems like ghosts could easily escape from. Right now, she looks like a dog hanging out of a car window. But overall, she fits pretty nicely, and it's a really awesome set piece. Next, we'll take a look at our brand new figure, Sonia Santos. Sonia looks fantastic. She's a new character played by Ditch and Latchman, who you may know from Altered Carbon, Rhea and the Last Dragon, and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and much, much more. This figure's outfit looks amazing. I really love the fancy dress thing. It looks great, and so does her pants and boots. She also has this cool little bracelet. Her hair is pretty good, but in my opinion, her face looks nothing like ditching to me. Her face isn't long enough, and the overall shape isn't really right. It would have been cool as well if they added her dyed roots. Sonya also includes some little accessories, like this awesome stun rod. It looks so cool and has some nice detail. She also has this neat little controller to operate the door. It also works on her TV. It's fairly nicely detailed, but isn't quite as detailed as Claire's GPS. Overall, it's really cool that they included it. This is a fantastic set. Basically speaking, everything about this set is great. It's even better that as of now, everything in the set is exclusive, which makes this a good buy, in my opinion. Now, let's look at the awesome escape pack. They all look great together. First, let's take a look at Owen. Owen looks absolutely fantastic on his motorcycle. Unfortunately, he's a huge pain in the butt to get on there. If you've seen my last video, then you've already seen this figure in a red shirt. But to give him a quick overview, he has some pretty good shoes, nicely detailed jeans, a cool sheath with a removable knife, a nicely detailed shirt, and a really cool motorcycle helmet. It's a really nice size, but it's really, really hard to get on and virtually impossible to take off. If you somehow manage to get it off, it reveals a fairly great likeness to Chris Pratt. Overall, this is a pretty nice figure. Now, let's look at Owen's motorcycle. The motorcycle looks fantastic. There's so much mechanical detail. 
I really love the shiny bright red body. The headlight looks really great. It would have been so cool if the light actually worked. The bike even has some movement to it. They actually made working handlebars unlike some cheaper toys. The kickstand also works. Overall, this is a really awesome bike and definitely one of the best parts of this set. Next, we'll be taking a look at a Trociraptor Panthera. Panthera looks pretty great. Her paint job is pretty good. It looks especially great on her face. Now, of course, we do have to address the elephant in the room, that being another crouching style raptor. It is very annoying that this style of raptor will be returning, but at least Mattel made a new sculpt. I was hoping that with her neck articulation, you'd be able to get her into more of a running position, but it doesn't really work out. As always, on her back, there's a little pull tab that if you pull out, reveals the scan code for the Jurassic Facts app. And there it is if you'd like it. Overall, this is a pretty good figure, but it's probably my least favorite of both sets. Now, let's look at probably my favorite Atrociraptor, Red. Red looks really nice. She has a really awesome paint job being primarily reddish orange with a lot of beige details. The sculpt is the same as Ghost's, but you don't notice it as much because of the drastic color change. I also don't mind it as much because it's a really nice sculpt. That being said, she does seem to suffer from the same problem as Ghost unfortunately, that being her warped left leg. As always, there's a little pull tab on her back that if you pull, reveals the scan code for the Jurassic Facts app, and there it is if you'd like it. Overall, she looks great and is definitely one of my favorite parts of the set. And finally, we have the awesome baby Carnotaurus. She looks absolutely fantastic. Her small size makes her fit perfectly with the other Carnotauruses. It's really great to add some more family dynamics to my park. The Carnotaurus has a really nice sculpt with lots of scales, osteoderms, spikes, and scarring. She also has very nice muscle tone. One thing that's really cool about this figure is its inclusion of the broken horn, making this figure noticeably different from past releases. Her paint job is fantastic, mimicking Kenner's Demon Carnotaurus. As always, on her back, there's a little pull tab that reveals the Jurassic Facts app scan code. And there it is if you'd like to scan it. This Carnotaurus actually features in both Fallen Kingdom and Dominion. Overall, a really nice new Carnotaurus. Now here are my final thoughts. The release in Rampage set is amazing. Everything included in the pack is exclusive, making it much more worth the price. And what is included in the pack is great. The Owen Escape pack is also great. It may cost a pretty penny, but it's definitely worth it. Between the awesome motorbike, the three amazing dinosaurs, and an Owen action figure, it's the perfect starter pack. I would 100% recommend both these sets. Alright, I guess that's it for now. So if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And if you didn't, hit the dislike and unsubscribe buttons. If you like toy photography, pictures of Cheddar the Cat, Cheetah the Dog, or Daisy the Dog, follow me on Instagram. If you'd like your collection to be featured in a video, message me in the comments down below or hit me up on Instagram. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now and have fun collecting.